My role in the Department of Fire and Emergency Services is as the Youth Programs Coordinator and I look after our 11 to 18 year olds. My presentation was about making sure that we encourage and engage these young people to be more involved with their community and develop those strong links and networks within the community with hope that they will come through and be volunteering in the future but also providing them and empowering them with the skills to be able to respond if they need to respond. It's, not, it's probably no surprise to anyone but we've got an ageing population globally. We also have an ageing population within the emergency services and within Australia it's 56 years is the average age of a volunteer, older in marine rescue in Western Australia. And so these young people are obviously going to be our future for emergency services, but they bring with them their own skills as well. So with them comes along that energy, that excitement, the innovation, um, all of that sort of stuff, they can come, they bring along with them. So they, it's a two-way learning street. What they learn from our volunteers, we have some amazing life experiences, but we also learn from them. So we have a new program which we piloted about four years ago called Youth in Emergency Services and which we affectionately call YES. And that um, is quite unique for us in the factor of it's not just young people doing one service, they actually go across all services, but we also engage other government and non-government agencies. So the WA Police, St John, and what that does is it means the kids get a tasting plate of all the emergency services out there and they get a feel for what they want to do and what they're interested in doing. So that we hopefully keep them for a long time because it's something that they're passionate about. Basically, we bring young people in between 11 and 18. They can become a cadet. They can become active members at 16. The whole idea of the program is that they're building relationships up with emergency services volunteers. They're building their skills. They're building their networks so that they can easily transition into that adult volunteering. It's a pretty scary thing if you don't know what you're getting into when you want to volunteer. You put your hand up and you go, am I going to be able to do this? What am I going to be doing? If they've already built those skills and that knowledge and they've built those relationships, those strong relationships, they're more likely to be able to go and knock on the door and say, hey, you know, I want to be part of this and I want to volunteer. And it also builds those stronger communities. They have really good relationships with the adults and it builds um, their own resilience within themselves as well and confidence.